YouTube, Strixhaven is finally here, and so we're going to be playing a deck I've been dying to try out since I saw some of these cards spoiled. I've called it Dina Pest Control because we are going to be sacrificing Damagoth Titan to attend the pests and getting 11 pests. Now, how is that going to help us win the game? Well, 11 pests is pretty great in and of itself. Those are a lot of attackers, a lot of bodies. But we have Bastion of Remembrance, and we have Dina, so that whenever we sacrifice or our pests die, we're going to be gaining life and our opponents are going to be losing life because of that. So that's kind of the core concept of the deck. We bake a bunch of pests, sacrifice them, we kill our opponents that way. And we are running Gilded Goose to ramp things out faster, Fiend Artisan to help find Dina or Damagoth Titans. Love Struck is a good just, um, can make 1-1s one -ones and it can also be a good speed bump against aggro. Wolf Strider, free sack outlet, that's great. Henge as another way for our, uh, to get more value out of our creatures and also uh, ramps us to some extent, although we don't really need all that much mana. Uh, but then we're also running Plum the Forbidden, which can help us kind of come back from emptying our hand prematurely or from not being quite able to kill our opponent. We can sacrifice any pests or other tokens we might have lingering around and draw some cards uh, whilst doing so. So that's the deck. We're going to take it for a spin, but uh, let me know if you have any ideas on the brew, if you have any suggestions, any recommendations. I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Okay, let's get into the games. All right, this looks pretty good. Heart's Desire into Dina, into Great Henge. T4, maybe, if we're lucky. Or even just play the temple on T2 so that we can ensure we get Love Struck on T3. Opponent on probably rogues, but they could be cycling. We don't know yet. Play an island. Ruin Crab, okay. Rogues it is, okay. Go bottom the Woe Strider. We'll play Gilly Goose though. Pass the turn. That next turn we can play Love Strict Beast. Or could even slow roll it. But I think it's better to get Love Struck down. Try to um, get that Henge online. Got a Damagoth Titan as well. I think we gotta go for the Titan. It's too good. This is what we built the deck for. They have removal say a heartless act or something or i'm gonna be um sad but we're going for it we're trying taking a risk actually get a woe in the graveyard they're eyeing it they're thinking about it. don't remove it on it don't remove it i don't know play a thought thief or something Or wait for my turn. Try to get the max value. Wait for me to attack with it, then try to kill it. Rune Crab. Okay. Come on, let me attack. Let me attack. Opponent. Yes! Okay. Um... So let me attack with it. Oh, I think I'm supposed to play Great Henge here. How can they win? If I have like 11 uh, pest tokens. Yeah, we're just gonna go for the hench. They don't have enough for Drown the Lock. Yes! Yes! The dream. Sack the 1 1. 
Greed pays off. Okay, if they have like a Heartless Act or something... Oof, it's gonna be brutal. Get John the Lock. Yeah. <laughs> yes! Opponent! Greedy is all hell. And you are getting punished for it, my friend. <laughs> Living the dream. Living the dream. Henge into pest sacrifice. Opponent must be kicking themselves. Play Soaring Thought Thief, okay. Play Wind Robber, okay. Adina uh, plus Henge is interesting too because every time we tap it, they're gonna lose a life. But, uh, let's see here. Okay, so we play a Swamp. For one mana shy of casting Woe Strider and Dina. So I think we'll just play Dina. She's here, here to seal the deal against rogues. Oh, okay, Plum the Forbidden too. That's a nice uh, sack outlet. Okay, so we just attack with everything. Except for the goose, of course. Let's see what they block here. And if they're too greedy, we can just kill them with Plum the Forbidden. That's okay, right? So they go to 12. I'm actually going for less. Um, so we can. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we did just win. Tap this. Get them to 10. And then we just play Plum the Forbidden. Sacrifice 10 creatures. That's living the dream. That's how we do it. <laughs> that is how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> I would have drawn 10 cards, too. Okay, we go first. We have Dina plus Fiend Artisan, so we can do some searching for our good old Demogoth Titans. We would probably go Fiend Artisan first. And then go Dina. Drawing the second Dina makes it so maybe I should have gone the inverse order because they might try to kill Fiend Artisan. But we'll see what they go for. Um, go to combat. Attack them for one. See if they want to use a removal spell. Now yeah, they opt not to. We're gonna have a land, we'll get a Woe Shredder. Okay, they open up the sea. Instead of a kill spell, sure. The two top. Interesting. Scary, but interesting. Get by a tap land. Tell something, could be an epiphany. Uh, I think here we are going to scry one. Okay, I'll take that. Another land, sure. Go to combat. Hit them for four. And go Heart's Desire, Love Shark Beast. I'm just going for the beatdown plan. 
if they execution event, we have these two left over, which not the best, but um, this is pretty nice in that respect. Okay, we do have extinction event. Sack the love shark beast. Um, we want a Damagoth Titan. Sure. We'll take it. If it's auto even. Interesting. Okay. Get them for three. A game of goth. And threaten lethal next turn. Okay, the Heartless Act will sacrifice in response. Do some more scrying. Their land. Um, I think we bought in that. Okay, they're playing another land. Get Yori into hand. Okay, we get Bash and Remembrance. Pretty decent. They are really low now. If we play Dina, each creature's gonna sack for two. Okay, and that was actually Behold the Multiverse that was foretold. It wasn't actually. Um, a counter spell or an epiphany, that's what I was expecting, one of those two, but whenever my opponent's running some kind of soul by control is evidently using um, Behold. Okay, so now my opponent has four mana, they could run out a... Oh, they just actually eliminate the Will Strider. Uh, I think we just let that happen. Combat, attack for one. Play Dina. Element of the Sea, sure. One top, one bottom, okay. So we could plum or like two or three, depending on what they do. They could also just ultimate him here. They play Elder Gargaroth. That's fine. Play Maze Mind Tome, also fine. A little Plum. So, I don't think Dina sees herself. She wouldn't. Um... So we'll just sack the human. Draw a couple cards. Okay, Fable Passage. Another Plum. Not ideal. The Raid Henge. Shut her back. Um, we sack this. They lose two. 
use Dina to sack a Woe Strider. Um, if we lose two more, they go to one. They're going to gain three if they attack with Elder. See if they see it. Maybe they, maybe they just let us uh, have it. That's probably fine. Drop anyway. Go to three. So we can play Dina, Goose, Plum. I have another guard rock, okay. I guess Dina sack the bird. Gain life from the food token. Gonna be close. We gotta think about the sequence here. Goose. Dina. Okay. To get there. Yes! Through two Gargaroths. Removal. Squeak out. Squeak out a win. Oh man. Okay, this is a mulligan for sure. Probably keepable. And maybe put back the Fable Passage. Keep the double temples. Need Artisan? Yeah, we can grab Damagoth or something with some of these tokens we're going to be making. Opponent on mono red, that we'll see. We're going to run a Dina, see if they attack here. It's going to mean that they can't just throw down a uh, Rubber the Rich and go ham. Okay, they attack. We just say no blocks for Dina to um, get an extra value off of these Bastion of Remembrances. Here, I think we're okay blocking like this because it means that they're going to have a hard time dealing with Dina effectively. Because they can pump Intimidator, and I guess they could have like a Frostbite, and then they could use the Frostbite on Dina with that one extra mana. Okay, the damage goes face. They let Dina survive, so they probably don't know Frostbite. Or if they do, they just let me get an extra damage in. They know Fervent Champion. Um, and the Bastion. Play Goose. miss land drops, so that's important. Definitely helps things out here.
block over here. Don't necessarily want to be losing the other disposable token because I have Fiend Artisan that I can deploy. Another Intimidator though. Another land. Can also use this goose to make food too, which can help us kind of go the long go the distance in the long game. Okay, stomp the fiend artisan. I guess I may as well sack the fiend artisan. Yeah, it also gets rid of the Bone Crusher, so uh, doubly good. This means they don't have good attacks either for their Intimidators because they don't want to just trade it down. Okay, Love Struck. That's nice. That's nice indeed. Okay, opponent is in a pickle. They're taking three damage every time one of my uh, creatures dies. They don't seem to have their third land. Okay, they play a snow-covered mountain. They get land three. Charger, okay. Okay. <laughs> Demigoth Titan something. I guess here what we'll do is attack for five with the beast. And play Demigoth Titan. The Intimidator, if they use a removal spell. Okay, they want to stomp on the Love Struck. That's fine. Okay, the Titan. The biggest of boys. Okay, I've had enough. I think I'm supposed to mulligan this hand, but we're gonna try keeping it because we have the scry and the pest plus titan. Bottom another land. Now if we can find a two drop or like a love struck, this could be our saving grace, because my opponent's probably on Monored Aggro. And they can probably run us over before we um, get to get Damagoth online. Ah, oh, and it was a love struck on top. I do get Dina though, at least. Question is, do I block with Dina? We'll see what they do with their mana first. If they have Stomp up, then probably not. They could just Frostbite Dina though. Play Phoenix of Ash, okay, that's fine. A swamp. I guess it doesn't matter which one we play now. Better probably just get Bastion out so we have another blocker. We can threaten double block. Because next turn we play Demigoth, turn 5, we go Woe Strider uh, and play 10 the Pests, and then we can just theoretically win if we can survive that long. Which is never a guarantee when you're playing against Mono Red Aggro, of course. Well, it looks like they are eyeing Dina and the 1 1. They will frostbite Dina. Sure. Play a charger, okay. Back before. Yep. Nothing. If they heart's desire, they actually give me back the creature, right? Or is that not how it works? No, 
it stays in, in exile somehow under their control. Um, okay. So we just play the Titan, pass the turn. They're eyeing the things. They're seeing something's off. Something bad is about to happen. They're about to need some pest removal. They play NX. Probably attack with a Phoenix. Sure. Okay, nothing else. They swamp here. Play Woe Strider. Pass the turn. Well, I guess I, I should probably attack, right? Sack the goat. Might block with their 1-1, one, one, or if they don't block, that'd be ideal. Let's see if they ping. Ping me, sure. See the Ember Cleave. Yep. We're gonna blocks, we're gonna sack Demigoth, tend the pests. So we have to just survive this uh excursion here and then try to crack back for a victory. They have one thing left in their hand. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, if it's a stomp on Moshe, that's going to be annoying. Um, we lost a little bit of spring. So, going to 11 at the very least, block these three, we go down to, or rather we stop four of it. So we have seven blockers left, um, we're at 11, they're going to hit us for 16, so we have to sacrifice like, um, okay, so really this is going to die, so we're at 14. Go to 12. Um, like 5, 6, have to block Annex. enough. I guess these ones are going to die first because of the double strike. So we're going to gain back 10 life. Yeah, okay. I guess we just play Dina, hit them for three, and sack the pests. There we go. Dina has controlled the game with her pests. What it goes first, we have a Scryland, we have a Gilded Goose, they have a Fireblade Charger. Big yikes.
It's gonna be tough. I could just stomp the goose to get more damage through. Though it's not the most impactful play. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, they do it though. <laughs> Equal one. Okay, I'll play a temple. Bastion is okay here. Love to find the Titan though. I think we'll run out the Bastion first so we get a little more damage on my opponent. And next turn we can run out Wolf Strider, sack the token. I guess if they do miss, they might have an Ember Cleave. But uh, if they have that, I'm basically dead anyway. Okay, yep, Ember Cleave. Yep. Yep. Alright. Okay, I put it to Convulgan. We have a nice hand though, I think. Potential T3 Titan. And we have other things we can be doing as well. With our Love Struck Beasts and whatnot. Okay, opponent starts with the Mountain though. Start with the Charger. Sure. Uh, with that in mind... I guess we just run out the Goose still. They stop, it's not the end of the world. They don't play another 2 drop. They rob her the rich, okay. They grab Dina. No, Dina. We need you, Dina. Flum, okay. I think we play this as a green source. We could just do this. Play a swamp, play a love shuck. It doesn't mean you can't damage off next turn, which probably isn't the best. Yeah, I'm down to just go um, Heart's Desire. Heart's Desire. No attacks. It is also true that we don't have a lot of creatures right now, so we can't really do much with Demogoth Titan. Only attacker block so many times before I have nothing else to sacrifice. Play another Rubber the Rich, though. The attack. Grab a low strider and a land. Try to kill their fervent champion. Pick four. the pests. That is what we like to see. We just have to survive one more turn and uh, we'll be rocking and rolling. I did miss land drops too. So we have that going for us. Play a fire blade charger. Okay. about attacking probably. They know they got some stuff if they do. They have a Dina that they can grab. They also have a Wolf Strider, but they may not be able to play that. They don't have another land to hit. We're reading Demigoth again, of course. What are they going to do? Attacks or no attacks? What's going to be opponent? Tough calls. Let's see what they grab. Land. Another Dina. Okay. We'll 
sack the other creature we're blocking with. They're gonna stomp or something? This is perfect. We play the Swamp, play Fiend Artisan, uh, attack for 11, sack the Artisan, see if they block. They don't. That's what you like to see. Let me get to uh, surprise them with a torrent of pests flooding down. And I guess as long as they don't like kill us, we can just crack back for lethal with 11 damage. We play Bone Crusher, okay. So, still not gonna get us. Okay, so we go to 11. They have two blockers, but we have 11 pests. Surprise, surprise, opponents! How'd you like that, Mono Red? Who's the aggro now? Who's the aggro now? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Just as we hoped. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the games. I know I did. Let me know what you're brewing in Strixhaven now that the set is out. I'd love to see some more exciting new cards to play with in Standard. Until next time.